kitties. So as a child of the 90s, I loved the Disney toys and dolls that they had at the time. And I actually was thrifting two weeks ago and someone had, I guess, sold like their old collection of the Disney princes. Like they were like little mini six inch dolls and they had like little bases that you could put either bubbles inside or perfume or musical sounds and someone like sold all of their dolls so I was able to pick up some of them I think someone stole some out of the box so I'm missing a few dolls but it's because I only have the bases but I wanted to show you what I picked up I thought they were in stellar condition and they're super pretty and petite and cute so I wanted to show them to you okay this first doll I thought it was perfect because it's the 60th anniversary of Sleeping Beauty. But they had the Princess Aurora doll in her pink dress. And I love this. I had the doll when I was little, but they would paint like little sparkles on her dress. I loved the big size version of this doll too because she had a skirt that you could switch from. You could switch her whole dress from pink to blue, which was really cool. But like, look what good condition her hair is in. And she looks like, she doesn't look like a cartoon. She looks like a model. Like, I loved old Barbie dolls because they looked more like models and like they were really pretty like I think she's just really pretty I love her little crown made out that like I had um I'll show you I had the Jasmine one of these growing up and she had like that little crinkly crown or something so I think I don't think she had shoes or she just didn't come with her shoes and then this is what her base looks like and I think she is the bubble one. I don't think she, oh, she plays music. Oh, but her bass is broken. She might just need new batteries. Some of them actually still work, so. But I thought her hair was so gorgeous, so I was super excited for her. This next one is Princess Jasmine. Her little rubber band's kind of like broken her hair and they're kind of stuck, but her hair is still in gorgeous, soft condition. And here's this doll. I had the Princess Jasmine dolls growing up and I actually had the purple version of her growing up. This is the bubble one because in her base, see it shows Jasmine on the base, but inside her base it has little bubbles. I think it's all dried out, but I could refill this, but you take this little, oh shoot, what are these called? Funnels? and you pour the uh, soap inside and I guess she can actually just smell or something. I'm not sure why you fill her up with soap. I had this growing up, I can't remember why. Maybe it just smells good or something, it's perfume. I don't know, but I don't know. I think it's just really neat, it's kind of fun. They had such good thought out toys in the 90s. Okay, and then this is the one I believe I had growing up and she's in like her little purple outfit. I love the color and she's a musical one, but I don't know if she works. sounds horrible but there's a noise coming out and it has jasmine on the base oh she's still going it sounds like i just lost in a video game okay she's gonna still go let me get the next doll out but i think her outfit's so cute and she has the cute painted sparkles on her as well so i like this one a lot okay and this is another bubble princess jasmine and she's really cool because she's got like tinsel in her hair and it's all sparkly but she's super gorgeous as well and she's still got bubbles in her case which is pretty cool and her hair is super soft oh my gosh these dolls are in such good condition okay and you can't have jasmine without aladdin they're meant to be so this is like the little prince ali aladdin and he plays music too i'm afraid to press the button and it has Aladdin on the base. Let's go ahead and press it though. Yeah, he doesn't work at all, but it's still a super cute little doll, so I'll put him with Jasmine. Okay, and I probably should have shown you her with Aurora, but they had Briar Rose in the box. And she has gorgeous curly hair as well. It's very well kept. And then I love her little iridescent it's super cute or is it the term holographic it's super cute and then she has her little pink shoes as well I think she's absolutely gorgeous I was super excited about her and then she's the perfume princess and it has briar rose on the bottom I love the illustrations and then she has like the little hole where you can put 
the perfume inside. So oh, I love 90s toys. Okay, and then they also had this gorgeous musical princess Cinderella, and she's got like sparkles in her hair, and I love how like one of her eyes is covered with her babangs. But her head's kind of wibbly wobbly, but she's still super cute. She's got a gorgeous face. Like, look at the model of her face. Like, beautiful. Like, dolls were like 90s was just beautiful. Everyone was beautiful. And then she's got this cute tulle skirt on her. She's so dreamy and gorgeous. And then it has Cinderella on the bottom. And then let me see if she still plays. I don't know if she does though. Barely. It's like a squeak. So, still really cute, and I love her hair too, it's really well kept. This must have been like an adult in the 90s collection or something. Or a child who couldn't be a child. Okay, and there's also this Bubble Princess Cinderella. Oh, she keeps falling over, and she's kind of, she needs her ribbons retied and her necklace retied. I need to use like tweezers or something because I couldn't do it with my hands. But she's got this cute shiny blue dress. And she's got the little shoes and then the little base for the bubbles. And it still has bubble solution in it. So she's a little bit more like she's seen better days. She's like party hard Cinderella. But I think if I retie her stuff, she should come out okay. She's more like a past midnight Cinderella. Okay, and this is the perfume princess Cinderella. And she's more in like a wedding dress super pretty and she has cute little sh white shoes on and then it has a picture of Cinderella on the base so yeah and then you put the perfume so I've been meaning to show you but they come with little utensils that I guess when you pour you use the funnel you pour the perfume in there and then like for the bubble princess it has like a little bubble wand and you put it in there and you can blow bubbles so like you have this cute doll and then you can like play with her too I don't know these are really clever and cute okay and it also came with bubble princess Belle and she's got amazing tinsel in her hair as well and she's in this cute little prairie town purple dress and it's all shiny and glamorous and then she has these cute little purple shoes on and then she still has bubble solution as well so she's really cute her face is really pretty Let's see okay I don't care who you are this is quality so it came with the prince or for those in the know who truly believe his name is Prince Adam doll he has he came with like little pull on and off beast furry feet and then he came with this beast hat like the classic doll like this is quality that this little six inch doll comes with look at this so you can have the beast too is that a nice little toy and then he plays music i don't know if he works yeah he doesn't work but i thought that was quality like he even has his little cape like disney 90s 10 out of 10. Okay, and if you thought the beast was quality, your socks are gonna get knocked off with Prince Charming. Okay, first of all, he's got all of these little tassels and details on him. He's got details on the side of his pants, but he comes with a little pillow with a strap that he can hold with a Cinderella sparkly shoe charm sewn to it like if that isn't signature quality then you don't know what it is so he can hold this in his hands like oh my word like disney 10 out of 10 and he has he's supposed to play music but he doesn't play music so but i mean he comes with the little pillow with the shoe on it you can't be for the little six inch toy i think i had her growing up it's the blue Snow White doll. I love her. I love her crunchy holographic skirt. And she's got these cute blue shoes on as well. And she's a perfume princess, I do believe. Look how cute. It's the cottage, what's the term for Snow White? Like cottage Snow White. But I love Snow White because she's the first Disney princess and she has brown eyes. Like. They haven't made a, uh, she does have black hair, they haven't made a brown eyed brown hair girl. Like, we need to be represented. The brown eyed, brown eyed, brown eyed, brown eyed, brown eyed, brown haired girls as well. We need that. Like, we have Princess Leia, but we need, now that she's Disney, but we need, they need to make a Disney princess with brown hair and brown eyes. But for now, we have Snow White with brown eyes. 
Okay, and here is Musical Princess. This is the traditional Snow White outfit. Look how gorgeous. And they painted the little sparkles on her dress. So cute. It has like tulle over it. And then it has a picture of Snow White on the bottom with the classic illustration. If it will focus. Come on. There we go, kind of. There we go. So cute. And then let me see if she plays. I thought one of them played. No, she doesn't play either. I guess none of them are working. And the last one is a Bubble Princess Snow White with crazy tinsel all in her hair. But she's in a classic outfit, but her skirt is gold. And she's got her cute little cape, so cute. And her base still has the bubbles in it, so. Yeah, there were a lot of dolls in the box. Like, I got them all for, I think, $20, so. I thought that was a pretty good deal for all the dolls. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed watching this. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it is Make Loves Cute. And I also have another Instagram. It's called Makes Cute Room. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure to subscribe. I post weekly. And if you want to like this video, if you enjoyed it, please do so. I will talk to y'all later. Have a sweet day. Bye.